My name is Drew Walsh, and I'm the Director of Worship and Arts here at Killarney United Methodist Church. And uh, over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about some of the various songs of our faith, uh, songs that have shaped our faith, songs that have probably affected us all. But before we do that, I thought we would maybe look at uh, the specifics of these songs. What categorizes a song as a hymn or as a praise song? I think starting with the history of a hymn is important because a lot of people don't understand the roots of a hymn. The word hymn comes from the Latin hymnos, which means a song or a praise song ascribing worth to a god. Hymns were adaptations of secular songs. Uh, many of the popular hymn writers from the 1700s and 1800s, they took popular bar or tavern songs and they adapted these songs with Christian lyrics, put them in their churches, and the people already knew these songs, praise songs, um, same kind of thing. Their history stems from uh, the modern church. Really, this in the 60s and 70s, there's the Jesus movement, the beginnings of what we now consider the contemporary church. They really wanted to write new songs. They wanted to put new lyrics in their church's mouths, the lyrics and music that fit the culture of their church then, just like hymns, you know, way back when or uh, whenever those hymns were written. History aside, hymns and praise songs actually have a lot that's different between them when it comes to the music. To be considered a hymn, there are a whole lot of rules that categorizes a song as a hymn. Um, one of them is meter. You know, a lot of times we look in a in a hymnal next to the song title, we see we see numbers. You know, eight seven dot eight seven. This is the meter or the uh, the dance or flow of the song. Uh, in the same way, we have rhyming schemes. Um, People who are familiar with poetry know rhyming schemes. You have A, B, A, B, or you know, A, B, C, A, B, C. It has to follow this particular pattern of rhyming. And that's why most hymns have a familiar feel to them as you're singing them. They have a familiar, again, this dance to the lyrics. Hymns almost always arrive at some giant climax. You get like songs like How Great Thou Art. You start with this ascription and praise of God. At the very end, it ends with us in heaven. Praise songs don't really follow any rules. Whatever's popular in, in modern pop or modern rock, that's what a praise song is probably going to adapt to. Remembering that a praise song, its purpose is to adapt to the culture, not for the sake of adapting to the culture, but so that people who are coming in our doors of our church, it's something that they're familiar with, whether it's a praise song or a hymn. Uh, the lyrics are a prayer. And so whether you favor um, traditional music or whether you favor modern music. Um, I feel like, you know, a lot of times we get caught up in, in the music of things when really these modern or older songs are just giving us a voice to lift our prayers up to God.